Welcome everyone to third tutorial part of my image stitching tutorial series. Well, this tutorial isn't going to be the further tutorial from first and second tutorial. It's actually like a new part, but I will do use some things from my first and second tutorials. So anyway, what is this tutorial about is that some time ago I was applying for a job as a Python programmer, something like working with OpenCV and they gave me a task like a homework or something like that to test my knowledge and what I know. So they gave me a task and I did that but I didn't took that job and right now I'm just rem remember that I did something like that and I thought well it might be a cool to show it to you and if you want you can try it by yourself not following my tutorial and later to check if you did, you did it right or not. So it's not that uh, dif difficult uh, task, I only need to do a small research. Anyway, the task was that I had uh, two similar photos like GRB, RGB and grayscale or pack of these fo photos in a folder. So one folder with RGB for example and second with TIFF images. So what I had to do is find overlapping region between these two photos and crop the bigger RGB photo up to the overlapping region. So here is the one photo, for example, this is uh, RGB and here is a second, this is grayscale TIFF image, as you can see. And I had to save these photos, to save TIFF photo. Uh, as a grayscale photo to a fourth image channel. So uh, next I had to calculate the whole duration, how long it took. Use of course multiprocessing to faster things up. Uh, I, I should write scripts so it could be used from a command line. Uh, so it could be used from command line as a script or something like that and of course save these images somewhere. So, uh, so yeah, so this is the task and let's begin with working with it. I'll open my PyLessons web page and I'll copy the code from there because why, why I need to start everything from zero and waste your time. So you should already, maybe you already saw this tutorial, so I'll just copy this. Okay, this is the first tutorial. Maybe uh, later I will need uh, one more. More code, we'll see. Anyway, right now I will work on this. So what we do is import time and here we import the sizer equal to, right now we'll give uh, 0.3. So this is our, for our time because it it is high quality photo so it will might take a lot of time process so I'll resize it when I am testing this or showing you how to do this so um, I am removing this part of code I'm cleaning a little this code and yeah I'll define a new function and it will be main function and here I'll just write something like jpeg image diff image and number equal to nothing for now. We'll see what we can do with it. So um, I'm adding a tab here and I'm creating a, another main function if name equal to our name something like that that's right and let's calculate the duration so it will be start time equal to time dot time like that main function will be here so I'll add my RGB JPEG photo and second will be near the photo 
like that. And now just print our duration. And of course at the end let's write something like finished. Okay. And here I time I took time took will be something how long I, I was doing this thing. And let's minus our start time. Like that. If everything is fine. Now it sh it should work at least in some kind of level and of course we can test this maybe I'll save this and run there is oh it finished oh yeah sorry uh, there is a mistake like that okay and here is the matches I need to write five and let's see still no what is the reason start type it, oh we didn't start here maybe if name yeah I, I hate I made here a mistake sorry so now it should work as you can see it finds a matches between th these two photos everything is fine here and now I need to crop this of course it took uh, not so long almost one second but You'll see, I'll, I'll show you with ori original photo size how long it takes. So, what I need to do is here, I need to open my another tutorial and I need just one line. This one. Warp image, so I won't waste your time of writing it from zero. Warp it image. Ipa equals to two warp perspective and here will be our matches something like that but I didn't use it yet so I need to find it so I copy on this line I think so I'll use it somewhere here and of course I'm not saying anything as before you already if you don't know anything you can go to that my tutorial and read it or watch my video and so on and you'll learn what I'm doing here so anyway what I'm doing next I have all the matches here for example and what I need to do is warp the perspective so I'm doing like that and now I'll save it as RGBA image now we have warped image but this is a simple RGB format so right now I need to save it as RGBA with four layers image equal to cv do dot cv t color and here is simply warped image and cv do dot color rgb to rgba yeah it should be fine here and now I'm just taking the Im <laughs> sorry I'm just taking image last uh, channel and I will add something to that channel so it will be my 
equal to image two. Yeah, so this is my uh, RGBA image with RGB image in and with nothing in his alpha last channel. So I'm just putting my ima RGB image into that channel. So next is CV2 image right. I'll say and here I will just do something like string number. Now you understand why I use that number. And here will be our PNG format of image. And just save it as uh, our image. But for now we can try to show it on the screen. So everything looks quite fine here. And I think I can Press enter and I will test it out. So, as you can see, it's it's simply RGB image, doesn't it? Let's save it as image image right, I think. Yeah. Image right and now Oh, you, you see, if I'll open it like that, it's, it's some, something strange here, but it's better if I open it in editor. And you can see that it was really resized and that it has some strange colors. So this is the grayscale color. And if I'll open it like that, it's the same. But for now, as I told you before, you want to see how it works as a full size. So I'll remove this resizer and let's save and build our script. It should take at least 10 times longer, in my opinion. So yeah, it, it took 7.78 and let's check it out. As you can see, it saved everything fine here, or the overlapping region, and and yeah. Well, I don't know exactly why they need that uh, this in my task. Maybe this just was an idea to save it to the fourth layer or something like that. But well, at least we did that. So. So we did uh, these four these steps, and right now is going to be more complicated stuff coming up, and I have to do this with multiprocessing, and that I could save these images, I mean read these images from a folder, and so on. Well, I need to do a lot of still stuff here, and. When I was doing this by myself, it took for me longest to find out how to do everything on multiprocessing because there were, uh, I think, 20 photos or something like that. And if I go with f all photos at once, my computer does, my computer CPU just gets 100% of a job and it stucks. So I had to do something in batches and anyway I will try to rem remember this and do it by myself again and we'll see how it works so there will be I think one or, or two videos at least one I'm sure but there maybe might be and two and we'll do this together so anyway I'm just talking too much I think it's better to do something and I continue I will continue this on the next video and I think that it's enough for this tutorial short tutorial and I hope you will try it by yourself without looking at the code and maybe you'll solve this and I hope this video was useful for you thank you all for watching good luck and see you in a next tutorial of course I
If you like my video, you can like and subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.